Hey y'all. Um, so I'm here to bring you some running workouts. Um, so this first video is just going to be about how to warm up and cool down from these running workouts. So when we're warming up for a hard running day, um, meaning doing a track workout, doing some sort of high intensity running, what you're going to want to do is um, start with a warm up where you have a nice, easy jog, then you do some dynamic movements, and then you finish up with some accelerations all before you get into the actual bulk of the running. So I have Tucker, my brother, here with me today to help demo how we would warm up for um, a hard running workout, a track workout, um, a hard workout out in the uh, community. So how this works is you'll start with about 10 minutes of easy, easy, easy jogging, um, really just kind of shuffling along, loosening up your muscles, um, and 10 minutes, give or take five minutes. So anywhere from five to 15 minutes of easy jogging. After that, you're going to do dynamic movements. So Tucker is going to demo these for me. So here are just some ideas. Put together your own assortment um, based on how you're feeling on any given day. Some ideas with some dynamic movements include Frankensteins. So Tucker will be putting his opposite hand to opposite toe. Perfect. He'll do that for about maybe 30 meters. Then he's going to do on the way back golf ball pickup. So golf ball pickups is where he shoots his one leg back and that same hand travels down. All right, so this is kind of opening up the back body. You can start by pulling your knee up in the beginning and then shooting your leg back. Um, but that, that's great, stretching out, stretching out the back body. Next, we have daisy pickers. This is where you will be putting your opposite hand to opposite toe, reaching down. It's actually important to grab onto that toe. That's what engages your hamstring, loosens it up. Again, about 30 meters of those. Then turn around, go back with quad pulls. So for quad pulls, pulling onto um, your kind of your shin, not your shin, your like lower ankle area. Um, Yep, nice work, pulling out and stretching out that quad. Um, another option would be um, standing march, which I kind of think is the opposite to a quad pull or a knee hug. Um, so you're gonna pull your knee towards your chest, hold there for a second, release, keep moving forward. All of these are dynamic, you're moving as you're doing them. Next we have um, open the gate. So these, this is gonna be a little bit more dynamic, but you're rotating your um, hip flexor, so you're pulling your knee up and out. You can kind of do it on a walk or you can make it up into more of a hopping movement. Um, and then on the way back, do close the gate. So you have open the gate and then close the gate. So you're going to reverse that movement. This time you're starting by pulling your knee out and then bringing it back in. Um, awesome. Once you've done that, maybe get a little bit of static ankle rotations in. So um, static meaning standing in the same place, but it's still part of our dynamic warm up, meaning um, we're moving as we are doing up exercises. Okay, he's rotating his ankles nice and loose. Um, and then just finishing off with some side shuffles. Um, this is just a, way, a great way to kind of get those ankles moving. Um, so from here, you'll kind of be thinking about kind of hopping and shuffling at the same time, like so. All right. So those are just some options for dynamic movements. Um, obviously, pick and choose the ones that your body needs on any given day. I would spend about five to 10 minutes doing dynamic movements. So like I said, you have your 10 minute um, jogging, five to 10 minutes of a dynamic warm up. And then the final thing that Tucker's gonna demonstrate is an acceleration. So what this means is before we do any sort of hard running, we wanna get our legs turning a little bit faster. So what that means is Tucker is going to start um, in, ideally he'd start back there at the starting line, but here we are. Um, and what he's going to do is he's going to accelerate, meaning, um, start moving his legs faster and faster over the course of about 50 meters. And then he'll decelerate for about 10 meters. This is just getting his legs to move a little faster. Okay. Let's see it, Tucker. So he just starts picking up the pace, picking up the pace, picking up the pace, faster, faster, faster. And then he slowly decelerates. This is just all about getting your legs moving, getting them turning a little bit faster before you get into your hard running. All right, so that is a warm up. After you do your warm up, shake it out a little bit, grab a little water, and then get ready for your workout. Then once the workout is over, what I recommend for a cool down 
is again about five to 10 minutes of super easy jogging. And let me clarify, when I say easy recovery jogging, I mean just a tiny little shuffle along, really, really gentle, um, because you're just trying to lower your heart rate, but still kind of keep your muscles turning, keep your legs turning. Um, and then um, I would recommend some foam rolling. Um, do that as you wish and as you need. Okay, so that's a warm up and a cool down for a hard running workout.